This is like glorified karaoke. <laughs> no way. Oh, my God. If you showed up at the bar down the street for karaoke, I think the whole place would just spontaneously fun, combust. Yeah. <laughs> so what are you doing later? <laughs> we should celebrate tonight. It's we should. Night. I'm leaving. Sorry. Oh, where are you going? <laughs> it's back, back to Salt Lake City. <laughs> <laughs> are you, yeah. you going to sing him that song? <laughs> um, yeah, I am. Definitely. <laughs> I, I think that's great. I love the little... Little jab to him the little in jab. the middle. That was Gates, the fifth song on the album X Communication, which is officially out tomorrow or at midnight. Tonight, yeah. Tonight. Might as well be tonight. <laughs> uh, so talk a little bit about that song and where it came from. Um, Gates for me, I think there was a lot of assurity when I started looking at things that I always had questions about, and I think the internet, it like, is crazy because you can Google and you can see like what 200 years ago looked like now. Um, and I think we were just figuring out stuff uh, when I was growing up. So for me, just the ability to like cross-reference things and things that I had just always accepted at face value. Um, and I felt really sure that like those things weren't true. But I think I've settled into a nice space where I don't know anything. Um, and I know that might sound like dark and sad, but it's actually really liberating to like. I mean, un you have to understand, like, I grew up from a very small age being told, like, you have to say, like, you know the church is true, and you know such and such is a prophet, and you know, like, and there's no way for you to know, no, and there's faith, but I love saying, I don't know, but I also don't know if it's not, and so if it is true, and I've lost my way, I feel like we're going to find out, but I'm having such a damn good time, like, exploring the now, and that's what I know for sure. Like today, me talking to you, you guys being here on your lunch break, <laughs> like that's cool, and that's now, and that gives me a lot more joy and peace than like wondering if I'm gonna make it to a kingdom or not, so I don't know. That just makes me excited for you. I hope it doesn't you. freak people out, but I just like. No, I'm, I yeah. love it. I, that's kind of exactly where my headspace is with all of that, and I think everybody can relate to that in one way or another, whether it's their religion or their upbringing and questioning authority, sure. the government. I mean, it's all there and it's just great to be in the now and to you be you and me be me and just love each other because why not? Dude, I used to be so scared to like have conversations with people and I, just the connection and the, uh, the intimacy that I've been able to have with friends and family, I think that is just like, that's the meaning of life, like connecting and like being mindful of how you're feeling and just having just having a blast with the people that are in your life and making sure they're there. I don't know. I think that's a really, that's a good positive message, right? I think you're wise beyond your years. Well, I'm figuring it out. Mr. Glenn, <laughs> um, would you, does anyone have a question? Should we open it up? Anyone sure. like to ask Tyler a question? You can raise your hand. Everyone looks don't be at shy. Their feet. He doesn't bite. I do. Yes. Uh, hey. I can reach all the way over here. Is it Emma? Yeah. 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 Um, so, what has been the reaction overall from fans, like from Neon Trees fans? From like, have you gotten new fans that have never heard of you before and stuff like that? Yeah. I mean, um, from what I can tell, and, and there's a lot that the, there's a core Neon Trees fan base that has, you know, gone on to follow what I'm doing. Um, you know, to set the record straight, Neon Trees is still banned, and we're, we just played a show two days ago, and we've been playing, you know, on our off time, but um, we always kind of talked about this space, giving us space after three records to sort of just exist for a minute and do families and do what we want. And, um, but the reaction from fans has been incredible, and more so than, I think, on this record for me than records in the past, because I don't know if... I'm sort of more open. I think there's maybe a directness, and I think the the fans that we have had for you know so long now, like I think them following the journey of the band, they've really like attached themselves to this too. So I'm grateful because like at the same time, I'm sure there are some fans that aren't caring for the vibe or the sound, and that's okay too, you know. But um, thanks for the question. Well, and if they are really your fans, they'd want you to be happy and explore this person that you are, you know, so. Yeah, thank you. Anybody else have a question? 
So um, my name is Tracy. So hey. you um, talked about the church, and obviously I'm Catholic, so I understand. Uh, um, <laughs> Mormon guilt is yeah, just as Yeah, I mean, real, like yeah. I could, we could probably have an awesome dinner. Right. Um, but we could have it, wine now. Yeah. Now that yeah. I'm not, you know, I'm like, oh, yeah. Malbec. <laughs> well, it's water now. It's wine. Um, but what I'm curious about is being that you're of a celebrity stature and you've come out as a more a, a gay mormon yeah has there been any reaction from the church um they were, not that i want to, any negative i mean you know yeah. but i mean have they commented on it or is you know the mind the mind screw of it all is that uh um i came out in 2014 and i kind of merged the two identities i'm gay and i'm mormon and you can make it work and i started talking to uh, you know, audiences doing speaking events where I was talking to LGBTQ people of, you know, the LDS faith. And I was, I felt like I became a proponent for it and I felt embraced. Like, I started to hear from all sorts of regional leaders and being invited to events in Salt Lake. And so there was definitely like an awareness of it and also like an acceptance because there wasn't like, like they didn't like stonewall me all of a sudden or, you know, not, um, not accept me anymore. So when the, policy came out last year, it was really sort of jarring and confusing because they had started making a website called Mormons and Gays. They were, they were actually calling us gay instead of just saying it was same-sex attraction and you can get over it, you can repair it. Um, but then this policy was leaked and uh, I know it, it definitely made uh, international headlines, but it's still a living and breathing um, weight, sadness in, in the LDS faith. Um, between, you know, LGBTQ people that are members, but also just people that don't feel like it resonates with the entire, like, focus of the church and the gospel. And so, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a real thing. And I've chose this music, I know it sounds niche and specific, but at the same time, I think these songs have a universal message because I think we all find our place, as you just said, being a Catholic, and I think we are all s sort of have felt small or marginalized or maybe not be able to fit in correctly into the the system that maybe we were brought up in. And I think that's the message that there's hope and you can find yourself beyond the faith that maybe, maybe you never had to begin with. Like I think there's a lot of really inspiring things out there to be discovered, so. So from what I understand, this policy that was passed by the church has to do with children of same-sex marriages that I, I'm assuming that gays are just not welcome in the church, period. Well, so they're welcome as far as like, they can show up in, on Sunday and they're not gonna like get kicked out. Okay. I mean, I don't know how to spot a gay, but <laughs> some people think they know how, so. <laughs> but I, I feel like, it gets it gets oppressive when the messaging starts to be that there are no homosexuals in the church, yeah. um, and then the policy clearly states that those that suffer from same-sex attraction, uh, if they decide to be in a healthy m marriage with a spouse, they are excommunicated just for that, and they can't uh, they can't hold callings. And excommunication within the Mormon church is very uh, sad and toxic, and I've seen it firsthand. It cuts you off from your community, and it's, you know, it's really kind of barbaric. Um, but it also, I think, separates families and doesn't keep families together. And in the same policy, it mentions that children of uh, a same-sex parents have to wait to be 18 to be baptized, and if they would like to, they need to disavow their parents' lifestyle. So, I we're just, uh, <laughs> as family-focused uh, and friendly as the church likes to say they are, they're, in a sense, uh, destroying families. So, it doesn't sit well with me, and it doesn't sit well with me as far as them saying they're speaking for uh, God, so that's really confusing. Um, but now I'm sort of in this place where I've seen the pain and hurt. Um, there's been upwards of 50 suicides since the policy, directly related. Um, ages, you know, ranging from 11 to um, in the 40s. So 
it's a real thing going on, but I think it's happening everywhere, and I think there's a lot of marginalizing on a whole. And I think um, the more I can do with music to inspire or to make people feel like they have maybe anthems for them, then I'm cool with that, you know? I just, that is like the most upsetting thing. I just, it's just so fucked up yeah. that a group of people can sit there and cast, you know, with their aspersions on people and segregate them for any reason and to have such a profound effect on young people who are trying to find themselves. It's just probably one of the worst things that you could do. Yeah, it's I deeply think. upsetting. So I just, I thank you for being such a strong figure and such a role model for people and really expressing yourself through your music and not being afraid, not censoring yourself. I think it's really important right now. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Thanks a so. lot.